Welcome to my channel, Le V Vintage Rose. This is a brief history of the Nancy Drew book series. Nancy Drew is many teenage girls' first introduction to adventure and mystery solving. She is the first teen heroine that looked for clues, found hidden treasures, located missing heirs, and solved mysteries. Popular around the world, more than 80 million books have been sold and translated into 45 different languages. The books are numbered, inspiring the start of many book collections. Writer Edward Straitmeyer created the juvenile mystery genre with teen detectives who solve crimes. In 1927, Straitmeyer created a popular series, The Hardy Boys. He noticed that teenage girls were reading these books. With the success of The Hardy Boys, he decided to create a series featuring a girl detective. For the name of the main character, the creator Edward Straitmeyer considered Stella Strong Diana Drew, Diana Dare, Nan Nelson, Nan Drew, or Helen Hale. The original publishers liked Nan Drew, which was changed to Nancy. Retaining all publishing rights, Straitmeyer created the plots, outlined story ideas, and gave them to ghostwriters to complete for a flat fee. The ghostwriters had to agree to not review their identity. Nancy Drew became the most important book series for the creator. In 1930, The Secret of the Old Clock is the first book from the Nancy Drew series. Book number two is Secret of the Hidden Staircase. During the 1933 Christmas season, Macy's ordered 6,000 books, which were sold out within days. The first ghostwriter for Nancy Drew books is Mildred Wirt. She wrote over 20 books with the pen name Carolyn Keene. The initial Nancy Drew books had dark blue hardcovers and no images and these are highly collectible, especially with the dust covers in mint condition. An original Nancy Drew book in mint condition is valued around $5,000. An autographed book by ghostwriter Mildred Wirt can double in value to $10,000. All the ghostwriters subsequently use the same pen name Carolyn Keene. The same illustrator drew all but one of the book's covers for almost 20 years. The illustrator's home was destroyed in a fire along with many of the original artwork. The series in the books were always described with vivid language and for the most part they were attractive. These descriptions sounded more like dolls than real people, but that seemed to be part of the fun. The following is from book number seven, The Clue in the Diary. Nancy was pretty in a distinctive way. Her eyes were blue, her hair titan blonde. She expressed her positions firmly, but did not force them onto others. Nancy's abilities as leadership were depended upon and welcome in any group. Nancy Drew was 16 when the series started. Later in book number 23, her age was changed to 18 so she could drive and go on all these adventures. In 1937, Warner Brothers bought the rights to the Nancy Drew book series for a reported $6,000. In the 1940s, Nancy Drew got a new hairstyle 
a Lauren Bacall, perfectly coiffed with side part and face framing waves. In the 1950s, the book covers were updated. The modern recognizable versions have the well-known yellow spines and color artwork covers. In the late 1950s, Parker Brothers issued one of the first licensed products, the Nancy Drew Mystery Game, which is valued at $250. In 1959, the books were revised and shortened, removing five chapters to reduce the cost of printing. Always keeping up with the times, in the 1960s, Nancy Drew became fashionably mod. A Nancy Drew lunchbox from 1977 sold recently on eBay for over $200. A vintage black and white movie lobby card can sell for up to $800. Nancy Drew has been featured in five movies. For over 50 years, until 1979, the original creator's two daughters, Edna and especially Harriet, continued to develop new books, edit ghostwriters, create new plots, and revise old ones. In 1985, Simon and Schuster took over the Nancy Drew publishing rights. Simon and Schuster launched a number of spin-offs and incorporated romance. Some complained that the character had lost much of its moxie. The original Nancy Drew mystery series ran from 1930 to 2003. In 2004, the Girl Detective series features the character driving a hybrid electric vehicle and using a cell phone. In 2013, a new series began, Nancy Drew Diaries. There have been three Nancy Drew television series, 1977 to 1979, a 1995 Canadian-American version, and a new series started in 2015 at CBS, which is now on the CW. The Nancy Drew series was renewed for a third season in February 2021. There are Nancy Drew computer games, which are quite popular. The character and books have been criticized as well-liked being due to Nancy Drew being high class, perfect, and white. Others argue Nancy Drew, despite her traditionally feminine attributes, such as good looks, a variety of clothes for all social occasions, and an awareness of good housekeeping is often praised for her seemingly masculine traits. She operates best independently, has the freedom and money to do as she pleases, and outside a telephone call or to home, seems to live for solving mysteries rather than participating in family life. A cultural icon Nancy Drew has been inspirational to millions of girls around the world for generations. Often cited as an influence in the lives of young women, including Supreme Court Justices Sandra Day O'Connor and Sonia Sotomayor, and former First Ladies Hillary Rodden Clinton and Laura Bush. Nancy Drew is a beloved character with a mixed bag of contradictory ideas about femininity and is independent yet demure, often rescuing others and often needing to be rescued, going on adventures and always counted upon to do the right thing. Some fans agree that this makes Nancy Drew more likable because she does not have to decide either way. Fans argue that this is what makes Nancy Drew a likable character. 
You've reached the end of this video.